Ugh. Look at these things. Look at these weird little raccoon monkey things. Their big old bug eyes with their alien eyes. With their alien faces. What do you know? What are you what are you trying to get at? Huh? What are you trying to figure out? Trying to trying to learn our ways? So you can beam messages back to your home planet? I'm on to you. I'm on to you. Your tails. It's weird. It's unnatural. The lemurs, I don't trust them. Don't trust them as far as I can throw them. But they're not that big, so technically I could probably throw them very far. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Uh, yeah, I suppose you're all right. I suppose you're all right. Not uh, entirely my cup of tea, but uh, I don't dislike your cup of tea. I don't, I don't, I don't look at your cup of tea and say like, Bleh, uh, this tea is gross, this tea sucks. Hate this tea. I'm an Earl Grey man myself. Hey. So, yeah, they're all right. Oh, hello, hello. <gasps> Gonna go underneath you. Uh, there we go. Oh, well. Hello, all you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek, again. And it is a bit uh, windy right now. Wind coming from the north. Oh my gosh, you know what that means. Temperature, temperature is a thing, and it's dropping. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's the middle of the afternoon, although you're probably seeing this in the morning. It's the middle of the afternoon, and it's like only like 82 degrees. I was actually in town earlier. I was in town earlier, and there were some little old Texas ladies, and, and I overheard their conversation like, can you believe how cold it is outside? And I'm just, they said, and I, I'm, I swear, cold. They said the words cold. Just because, you know, temperatures have been up in like the hundreds, stuff like that. Oh, the upper, upper 30s, as far as centigrade and Celsius are concerned. But, uh, yeah, no, it's been, been today. Boys, 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 excuse me. Let us be a little bit more civil. <laughs> else I won't uh, showcase you on the webcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I went into... Slade, Slade, don't bite there. Don't bite his elbow. Oh my gosh, you're such a little turd. But I, I went into town to, uh, I went into town to get a massage. Yes, I know, fancy me. Mm, yes. But uh, I need, it's been like, it's been over a year since I've ever, since I've had one of those kind of things. And uh, I needed it because, oh boy, you know, working out here and working out and, stress and all that stuff it uh it kind of turns into a lot of a lot of just just crinkled up body you know and, and being able to to work some of that stuff out is a good thing good thing but uh you know you make you make small time chit chat with the uh with the person doing the masseusing and um it's a, you know, like, what are you going to talk about? You like, you tell like, oh, the music, oh, this is great. Oh, wow, I've never heard this whale song CD before. <laughs> this, is, this is great. Um, man, the 2015 whale songs are out. It's amazing. No, but she actually did mention about the, uh, the, ah! She did, she mentioned the, the CD saying, like, this is actually, I just got this new CD because I've been listening to the other one for like a really long time for like months uh like all day you know every day and like i was about ready to go crazy and it's like it's kind of a, like a funny concept like you know like 
this like really relaxing music that's just like this is making me crazy no more no more i can't take it ah, if i hear another harp if i hear another harp i'm gonna stab someone so yeah, and then I, I, I was saying like, well, instead of buying CDs, you can just, you know, because it's the tech savvy thing, and like, well, instead of buying CDs, you know, get yourself like an, one of those auxiliary cables, and like, you know, like you can look up different videos on YouTube, uh, that are, there's all sorts of relaxation things and, and songs and whatnot on there. And she's like, oh, really, this is an interesting concept. I didn't think about that. And uh, she, she said, she was, well, she meant to say, well, I've got Pandora on my phone. But what she did say was, I've got Pantera on my phone. And like immediately, I'm just like, I don't know if that would be entirely relaxing. <laughs> the people that are trying to like, you know, like, I just want you to just, just calm down and relax and just let yourself just drift off. I do never have confidence. <laughs> Oh wow, you have a lot of you have a lot of knots built up in, in your back. Have you been lifting a lot of heavy things? Do 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 a re do 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 a spect do 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 a walk. <laughs> I just want you to just drift away, just just drift away. Come west from hell. <laughs> Just, yeah, and she's like, no, not Pantera. And I was like, maybe Slayer. Maybe you should have them listen to Slayer. That would be really good massage music. Slayer. <laughs> oh, yeah. But no, it was good. It was great. I was able to, and, but I, I, I drove away because I had a lot of, oh, sorry, you, you sat down. You actually came up and you sat down Basically, he sat down thinking under with the with the understanding that like oh, we're gonna hang out, and then like as soon as he like comes over to plop down, like I get up and I'm like, all right, this way, and he's just like, mother, <laughs> really? You gonna do me like that, bro? Let's see how it is. You make me come over, so I gotta pay homage, huh? Is that it? I gotta come over and kiss the ring, huh? No, rascal, you don't have to come over and kiss the ring. That's not what I was trying to do. I just get caught up, you know. I get caught up in my own thing sometimes. But, uh, yeah, when I was driving home, because I guess I don't realize, you know, how much, because you, your body builds up toxins and stuff like that, and it gets all knotted up, and then when you actually have someone work that stuff out, those toxins then get released into your bloodstream. Uh, and for a while afterwards... You're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. you actually, you get kind of woozy. Um, you can feel like nauseous and stuff like that. So you got to drink a lot of water. And uh, yeah, I was driving home. I was like, uh, 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 uh. I wasn't wasn't feeling 100. percent This is supposed to make me feel better. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hey, Serena. <laughs> yeah. Hi, beautiful. <laughs> oh, that was a long yawn. That was a long yawn. Long yawn, Serena. That's your pirate name. Hey, long yawn, Serena. Snuffles Magoo. Oh, that's not a good. That's not a good pirate name. Snuffles Magoo. Oof. I should walk the plank for that name, for even thinking that'd be a good pirate name. Is it allowed? Or maybe we could roast some chickens as, as a form of compensation for your an inability to think of pirate names. I can see his eyes. He's looking at me, but he's trying not to move. What if I do this? <laughs> see? I know how to get him. I know how to get him. Hi, bud. Whoa. Yeah, I know. Deserve it. I deserve it. I wind you up like that, of course. What do what should I expect? 
what should I expect? Hey. <laughs> Hi, bud. How are you? Yeah, you're a good boy. He's a good boy. Him's a good boy. Had a uh, funny thing happen the other day. A funny thing happened to me the other day, guys. <laughs> Let me tell you about it. No, I, I did have... What? What? <laughs> hey. No, but I did. I did have a, a, a humorous thing happen. Um, I was... Uh, I was going to pick up a cow, dead cow from over at uh, the livestock lot, the uh, sale barn uh, in the local area. They've been feeding us for years, so we'll make special exemptions or special exceptions to actually go and um, pick up their aminals. But uh, it certainly is an exception, not the rule, simply because uh, it takes us away from work and, and our, our equipment's not exactly the uh, most tip-top or the most tip-top condition. Um, so we will take the financial risk that could possibly come from our truck and trailer uh, falling apart by going to get cows and whatnot from the from the livestock lot. And I was coming back from the livestock lot and a big old dead cow in the back of the trailer, about 1,600 pounds. It was a big, big girl. Um, I think she had like some internal rupturing and she like just yeah she died um and you know he she died and then the guy's like i got a dead one and it's like it's like come and like we're like yeah and, and and so and that's like a you know that's a thing so i got this big dead cow on the back of a flatbed trailer and i'm i'm driving back um on a relatively uh well traversed road a lot of other cars in there a lot of other traffic i got a big old dead cow just on the back <laughs> just sitting there and uh i get that i've gotten the looks before plenty of times i remember and i think i even said this in the webcast but i do remember like years ago when i first started like picking up cows when that's what we're we exclusively like we would go all over the county picking up cows and i would drive all over the place picking up picking up dead cows and horses and stuff like that um but uh i would when i was single you know i would like be like driving along and i'd be like looking over like seeing some ladies in the car I'm like yeah what's up and then all of a sudden it's like i'd remember like oh yeah that's right and like you mo they would be looking like oh you monster kind <laughs> of like dead bloody animals in the back like oh yeah yeah i forgot about that but um no i had this dead cow driving along and uh, this dude he's he comes up he's like he's like okay i gotta kind of set the stage so i'm driving and i'm in the right hand lane and he comes up uh to pass me on the left hand side but i see in the rear view mirror that like before he like he, he's like coming and then like he switches positions and then gets himself behind me and then i can see like in my rear view mirror like he's like he's like taking pictures and i mean it's like you know whatever but i decided to have a little bit of fun and uh <laughs> as he as he goes to pass me on the left hand side um like i'm driving 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 and like right when he gets into my field of vision i take my phone and then I just like pointed at him, just it was with a like, dumb look on my face as he's driving and he's like looking at it, just <laughs> like what? And then he gets a little bit ahead. He flips me the bird. <laughs> like, and I wasn't trying to be like, I wasn't trying to be mean. <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't being just like, I was just being like, I was kind of doing like a, hey, <laughs> I was doing more of a, hey, this is you, this is you. <laughs> and then he was just like, oh, no one char no one does a characterization of me and my cell phone habits. No one. So yeah, he got mad. He flipped me off. <laughs> I think I'm done going. Uh, so yeah, fun times. <laughs> fun times. Going to pick up, pick up, that just, yeah, that just happened the other day. I laughed. I laughed. I flipped him, but I flipped him off again. I flipped, you know, I returned the favor. Just because, you know, that's what, what, what else are you gonna do? Come on. <laughs>
<laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. But yeah, getting. I've been I've been taking time off of work. You know, take time off. And actually, it's kind of crazy because, like, I'm, nor I'm used to a routine. Hopefully, I'm, I'm protecting a little bit from the wind. I, I, I apologize if... Um, yeah, I apologize if it gets through. Oh, before I forget, uh, familiar face shout-out. Familiar face shout-out that goes to Emily Hames. Emily Hames. Or Emily Hummus. I, I'm not sure how to uh, pronounce it, but uh, Emily Hames. Hi, you're a familiar face. Hello, I've seen you comment a lot, so I wanted to say hello, Emily Hames. Hi, Tess. Hi, Tess. But yeah, been taking some time off of work, and it's kind of a crazy, because like, I'm accustomed to um, my work schedule, like kind of being a part of my content schedule, too. Okay, when this this time of the day I'm gonna post this vine, or this time of the day I'm gonna be getting home, so that means I can go outside and I can film a webcast, and then everything is very it's like coordinated and specific and going here and here. But when I'm off of work, it's like oh my gosh, I, you know, it, it's kind of it, it's like a, breaking up the schedule. It gets things all kind of kind of kerfluffled, a little bit kerfluffled, and then maybe I'm not posting as much. But that's kind of another like that's kind of intentional. I'm kind of taking a slight break. Uh, from, from just, you know, posting a, an exorbitant amount of, uh, of content. I know some of you are going to be like, no, uh, but it's just, you know, I, it's kind of nice just to kind of, kind of just take a little bit of that time. And it's important that I do take that time because if I don't take that time, then I turn into a bit of a crazy person. I turn into a bit of a crazy person. I turn into a bit of a person who's a little bit difficult to be around. Um, you know, I've got, uh, I've got, I've got issues, man. I do. I've, uh, I've got, uh, I've got problems with, with irritability and anger. Um, I can just become really short and I can just be generally, I can, I can sometimes be a very unpleasant person to be around. Um, very specific with my standards. I can be, uh... I can definitely have a distorted pattern of thinking where I perceive my, my, the world around me very differently than, than other people do. I perceive people's intent, I perceive people's emotion very differently oftentimes. Someone will say something that's very kind of innocuous or, or, or not meaning, but then I'll kind of twist it in my head and then it'll be kind of like this, what'd you say, kind of thing. And then also, um, I'm a, I'm a big guy. I'm six foot two, I'm 250 pounds. I've got eyes that are ghost-like. So it becomes like this thing where it's it, it's not difficult. It's not difficult for me to uh, kind of be intimidating. It's not difficult for me to be intimidating at all. People always think that I'm bigger than I actually am when they get around me because I tell them I'm six two and they're like, no, you you got to be at least like six four. And I'm like, no. But it's, it, it happens all the time. I don't know what it is. I don't know. It's maybe it's just kind of like that inner kind of craziness makes me just seem bigger. Malita Popita, what is your matter? Are you looking at those BBs? Are you looking at those BB boys? Hmm? But all of that stuff, all of those things, they get exacerbated by my level of stress, by my... Hi, sugar pie. Hi, firebug. <laughs> oh my goodness, Malita. They get exacerbated by my physical state, my, my mental state, my level of uh, physical exhaustion and mental exhaustion. If I'm in any sort of pain or if I have any sort of uh, muscle uh, tightness, like I, I've, I've been having like dull, just like dull headaches for weeks. A lot of it had to do with the fact that, you know, I had like a bunch of muscles that were really tight in my upper back and my neck. But it all just kind of... <laughs> look at you! Look at you! I know a lot of people, they, 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 they listen to this stuff or they look at the webcast stuff or the compound stuff and they're just like, oh my gosh, how could this... But I guess it's also like... You got to realize, like, I'm, I am still trying to... 
maybe I'm trying to project a persona or I'm also I'm trying to I'm trying to entertain so you know I don't I don't go into all those other less than savory aspects you know of, of, of these things but yeah I can I can be a bit of a dick often often you know, a lot of people say like, "Oh, I'd love to hang out with you" and everything. And like, I have very, I have little patience, and I'm very selectively social. And kind of like what I was talking about before about you know um, being a, a, an outgoing introvert or having having elements of both introversion and extroversion uh, within my personality makeup. And it's like if I, if you kind of rub me slightly the wrong way, it's like I don't, I don't. It's hard for me to really have patience for you it is it's it's and it's just it's a it's a bad part of my character um and i'm very influenced by my current state of mind my emotional state is very influenced by by my current state which means that i can i can oftentimes be prone to just varying levels of impulsiveness i just kind of you know it's just kind of snappy People gotta, people gotta be on eggshells whenever they're around me. It's difficult. It's difficult, you know. Um, and I, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like, you know, being that way. You know, it's definitely affected the relationships. You know, with, I mean, my family. They, and I've, I've had to talk to them a lot of different times about different things. I've had to go and seek, seek the help of, of individuals. Of, uh, I, I've had, I've gone to, you know, therapy. I've gone to counseling. Um, talking to, you know, psychologists about, like, hey, this is, this, I'm, I'm having some issues here, you know, but, in, and it's helped, it's helped me kind of, like, put clarity to a lot of these different things in my world, it really has, and, and it's not like that stuff goes away, you know, if you, like, go into life where maybe you have issues or you have um, distorted patterns of thinking or even if you have like you know you're prone to depression or anything like that those things don't ever really fully go away you do learn how to recognize certain things you learn how to cope with certain things and then you learn to try to you know work through things uh, a little bit quicker every time yeah Hi, Boo Bear. Hi, Boo Bear. You and Craig? You and Craig hanging out? That's, yeah, that's the other thing. It's just, it's the eyes, it's the voice. So even if I'm, even if I'm minorly annoyed, it can be seen as like a really, this old, uh, you know, kind of thing. It's the difference between, like, a mouse that's angry at you, and then, you know, a walrus. I would take one of those two things a lot more seriously than the other. <laughs> uh. <laughs> And I don't, you know, but I think that there was a time where I would be, like, really concerned or I didn't want to, you know, like, open up to people about the fact that I had to kind of seek help. And But I don't, I don't, I don't mind that because I don't think that it should be something that gets really stigmatized. I think that um, if you have issues, then you should go and find help for those issues. Like, you know, and don't be afraid to seek help. And there's a big... Uh, yeah, there's a lot of stigma. There's a lot of stigma about that stuff. Oh, what are you, crazy? What's the matter with that guy? Ooh, ooh, something's wrong with him. His plumbing is all worked up. But it's not, it's not like that. Most people would benefit. Most, almost all people would benefit from like just, you know, having having their spark plugs and their and their their spark plugs changed and their lines flushed every once in a while like look at it in those kind of terms <laughs> you were getting up you were getting up like look at it in those kind of terms like you're doing routine maintenance on a vehicle 
that's what sometimes going and talking to people is like. There's no shame in that. Nothing wrong with it. In fact, the folks that deny that they have issues, you know, the ones who uh, refuse to look for that type of stuff, I, I think of that more as a sign of weakness than anything, to be honest with you. And, and, and at one point, I don't know if I did think of it in those terms. But I do now. I do now. I definitely thought of it in the in the former terms, like, oh, what are you, what are you crazy? What's the matter? And it helped. It helped. And I still, I still struggle. I still, I still become just uh, a, a difficult person to to be around. You seem so wonderful and likable, and oh my gosh, big cat Derek, I, I love being, I would love to be around you and hang around with you and everything. But it's almost kind of like some of the things that make me really good and focused at, at, at setting up shots and, and coming up with content and researching ideas and, and kind of like creating a certain mood. Some of those things that, that make for good content creation, uh, that make for good expression, they, they're not the best things to hang around with. They're not. They're not always the funnest. I'm just letting you know. Big Cat Derek, oh my gosh. There's a lot of times I could, you know, I've reacted too harshly to something. I've said something just, you know, mean or hurtful to... You know, the detriment of people around me, you know, and it's, it's not good. It's not good. So something had to change. Something had to change. Like I said, it's still, man, it's still this kid good. Bah, these boys. That's why, you know, taking some time off, you know, going to pamper myself a little bit, um, getting my physical, getting my physical self rested. Get my physical self rested because, like, if, if you're not doing those things, again, you, man, you, you, your thoughts, your thoughts get all sorts of wackadoo. All sorts of wackadoo. And a lot of people don't realize how, how goofed up their brain can get just from uh, not having enough rest, not eating well. You know, too much stress, all that stuff take a toll and you're not the only one that that's gonna you know get affected by it it's gonna be the people around you so I definitely implore you if you have issues then don't be afraid don't be afraid to go find help there's 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 and if you can't afford it there's free resources online you can you can find uh, online forums there's you can talk to uh, uh, therapists and psychologists for free online Google it I'm telling you stuff is for real man where's Selena there's Selena I know sugar pie but uh, yeah something interesting I remember learning from my, my therapist is that uh, your brain makes your thoughts and your thoughts make your brain Meaning that you can physically change the makeup of your brain just by thinking in a certain way or training yourself to think in a certain way. We have billions of neural connections firing all sorts of different electrochemical signals all over the place inside of our, inside of our heads, inside of our brain spaces. Hi! And, and the neural pathways are, are dictated oftentimes by how we think. So if we think, if we think a certain direction, then the physical channels that guide that thought are going to be made stronger. But sometimes those physical channels don't lend themselves to the most healthy way of thinking, the most healthy way of looking at things. So you go to talk to people, therapists, psychologists, whatever, they, all, they will oftentimes help you think of different neural connections, different neural pathways. You will literally change the physical makeup of your brain. 
depending on, you know, a lot of different circumstances. I'm not an expert, but that's one of the things, one of the amazing things that the brain can do. It's pretty astounding, honestly. And it's kind of a neat kind of thing. I mean, it's like going to the gym, you know? You got muscles, and, and those muscles are only going to grow, and they're only going to become more formed and healthier if you, if you work them out. The same way with, with, you know, thoughts. It's only going to get better if you give them the right workout. Hi, Papa. <laughs> I'm just a little ho-hum. It's not so hot and this is a little, I'm a little bit bored with how pleasant it is outside. A rumpf. Okay, we're gonna end it on Mr. Ayano. Oh, looks like the girls were able to get him locked up. Looks like they were able to get your head out of the space. I know. Oh, woe is Yano. Melancholy. Sad. Oh, no. Yano. So sorry. So sorry. So sorry. <sighs> he's too, he's too bummed. He's too bummed to move. You need someone to talk to, Yano? <laughs> hey, that's what we call a tie-in, folks. Or maybe a callback. Or something. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. It just gets so crazy. We just have a good time throwing things to the wall, seeing whatever sticks. <laughs> All right. Well, that's enough webcast for today. Hope you folks liked it. Um, Emily Hames, familiar face shout out. Oh my gosh, fangirly, he sent me, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Uh, so, oh hi. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. <laughs> Talk to you folks later. Bye-bye.